what is going on yes we are back yes we are back clowning roasting and beating the out of this jail crow horse face jason asshole now when it comes to jason asshole it's come to the point where the entire fgc knows about his stupid ass and to be quite honest with you i am so glad that the entire fgc has finally woke up but not only that the entire fgc is fighting back against this fucking clown and the good part about it is it hurts this dude it hurts this dude that the entire FGC is fighting back against his punk ass. It literally hurts him. It's the reason why he always makes multiple Twitter accounts every time he gets fucking banned off of Twitter. He can't help himself. He got to get right back on Twitter because Twitter is all he fucking has. Just think about it. You that miserable and you that ignorant to the point where you need Twitter in order for your fucking life to function. Even though you don't have too much of a life, we can all see that with your EDP looking ass. This dude can't live without Twitter. Not only that, he can't live without harassing. He can't live without putting his horse face nose in other people's business like people really care about him. But the difference between now and back then, people are just not staying quiet anymore. And shout out to those people that are finally speaking up and standing up to this fucking bum. This is something that I've always wanted to happen all of those years ago. You feel what I'm saying? And now it's finally happened. And you know what? I'm so glad it is. I'm so glad that it's happened because it helps me out a lot. It helps me out a lot. It helps me because when I do shit like this, I know I'm telling the fucking truth. I know I ain't tripping because, you know, back in the day when I was doing shit like this, you know, people used to come at me like I was tripping. People used to come at me like, oh, my God, why are you cyber bullying this dude? All that bullshit. All that fucking bullshit. Get that motherfucking shit out of here. Cyber bullying my ass. This motherfucker deserves every slander that he fucking gets. All of his threatening, all of his harassing, and now the whole FGC knows about it. He deserves all of the fucking slander. And all of the shit that everyone is saying about him, he deserves that too. And it's the truth. And that's why I'm glad that this is all happening. Because back in the day, when I was whooping his ass in VF, just like I always do, just like I do today, just like I do tomorrow, yesterday, five, six years from now, five, six years ago, people know that I was in line. People know that I was telling the downright truth about this asshole. And you know what? Even though I was telling the truth and people that you see in the comment section of these tweets roasting his ass telling the truth, I got a special guest that's also going to tell the truth. And the reason that I'm doing this is, is because, you know, you still got some people out there that think I be tripping, that think I be lying. So I'm going to have my special guest come on and school y'all about this bum Jason Elbow. And I got to warn y'all, after she schools him, she is literally going to turn Jason asshole into a bitch. And she going to tell y'all what this motherfucker is truly all about and what he fucking does out here when it comes to the FGC and why he always deserves to get his horse face ass kicked and slandered. Check this out. Yo, let me tell you how this motherfucking Plastic forward! has nothing but audacity. That's all this man has going for himself. Nothing but audacity, okay? Somebody made this post and was like, she is morbidly obese. That is not shame. It's a fact. None of these looks are attractive or complimentary. And anyone who deflects from the fact that her health is in danger, they are her true enemies. Brunch friends included. We need to stop coddling nonsense. So I said, but the thing is, it's her health. If she dies tomorrow, you wouldn't even know. Let's stop commenting and insulting women's bodies. And let's mind our own health, pockets, pussies, and lives. Because at the end of the day, you do not care. Okay, at the end of the day, you're not going to even remember this woman that you're commenting on, but she's going to remember the remarks that you made about her body. So let's just shut the hell up and mind our businesses. Okay, that's just the way I see it. And then this motherfucking had the nerve and gall to say, bitch, you're one hot pocket away from being just as big as her. That ugly hoes like you always want to be exempt from ridicule. Shut up, bitch. <laughs> Hold on, y'all. <laughs> let me just tell y'all that i don't know this man from a can of paint he been obsessed with me for literal months like when i tell you obsessed like i'm the first thing he think about when he wake up i'm the last thing he think about when he go to bed like i don't understand it okay but then 
you know you got to remember like his brain is smooth as marble you know what i'm saying his brain stopped growing the moment he was born so you know i was just like okay but pete this is where the audacity come in look at this man y'all look at this man his neck has rolls <laughs> like bro you could literally put a condom over this man's head he looks like harambe no shade to my boy harambe rest in peace like i just don't understand look at how big he is look his breasts are bigger than mine he wears a bigger bra size than me so it's like not only are you in and out of prison and like you don't even know how to live on a straight and narrow because clearly you weren't raised correctly like clearly like i said your brain stopped growing after you were born but you're big as hell you're big as fuck you're humongous you're obese and there's nothing wrong with that but you think it's something wrong with that so you project the fact that you're a big back ugly bitch and you try to project that onto me i just thought that was funny <laughs> i just thought that was like so funny <laughs> but needless to say he's blocked and i'm gonna block every other motherfucking account he makes just to stalk me because you need help and you need some money you so fucking broke bitch. you're so fucking poor Whew. you know he and broke that be making these men yeah honey also what is the difference between these three photos Bye. <laughs> now, I definitely agree with everything she said about this asshole, especially the part where she said that he ain't got no damn money because he's definitely a broke motherfucker because all he do is stay on Twitter every day of his fucking life making all of these fucking accounts. And as you see right here, this is a post that I made almost about a year ago. But the thing about it is I will never forget his response to that. And I will never forget the fact that he was able to get through even though I blocked his ass on all these fucking accounts. Just practically proving my point why this motherfucker deserves all the fucking slander and backlash that he fucking gets when it comes to the FGC. Like I said, he's a broke motherfucker because he still wears that same food color black shirt and that fucking taper ass haircut. That's how you know a motherfucker ain't got no money right there. But at the same time, making all these Twitter accounts and shit, yeah, you not out here making money. You out here making bullshit ass fucking accounts. Broke ass motherfucker. But as you see right here, I had made a tweet about a year ago, you know, expressing how I feel about having asthma attacks because I'm an asthmatic. You feel what I'm saying? I have been since the day I was born. And as you see, this punk motherfucker's response, I just never forgot that. And I kept this to this very special day. And that day is today. And this special day is practically the day where Jason asshole is going to get turned into a bitch. He already got turned into a bitch by Miss Angel, but now we go into the battlefield of VF, where it's going to be my turn to turn this bum ass motherfucker into a bitch. Literally. Once again, when it comes to VF, this sorry ass motherfucker is just not on my level. And like I said, he always likes to make those cookie cutter chips of his little cheap ass wins or whatever. Don't nobody give a fuck because ultimately, historically, you always get your ass kicked by me and you ain't nowhere near my level and you will never be. You will never be on my level in anything in life. Not looks, not money. <laughs> not females <laughs> man this dude is so broke ugly and out of shape he's so obsessed with twitter he can't even get a female to follow him on twitter and that's a damn shame you ain't never gonna be on my level in none of those categories that's why you so obsessed with everybody you harass because everybody is doing better than you jason asshole and you can't stand that i feel sorry for you because it's gonna be like that for the rest of your life motherfuckers are gonna be climbing your ass is gonna stay stuck because you keep gaining weight you can't move so once again we go back to the battlefield and once again i show how i just totally dominate you when it comes to vf nowhere near my fucking level and once again jason asshole you are literally about to get turned into a bitch literally <laughs> Round one.
one. Ready? Go! go! Yeah! <laughs> 
지지 주모놈이가! 
Knock out. Round two. Ready? Go! Round one, 
Round one, ready, go!
Round one. Ready? Go! go! Round one. Ready? Go! go. Ha! 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 Ha!
caballero! Round one!
out. Round five. Ready? Go. Oh! <laughs> 